Good afternoon everybody, Calm Biker here. Just uh, in Hull and I thought while I'm passing I'll show you uh, one of the attractions of Hull. No I don't mean uh, this pub. <laughs> you might have spotted the sign there, it's the Deep. Now the Deep is basically a big fish tank. Uh, it's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more than that I suppose. Um, they describe themselves as the world's largest submarium. Submarium. I, I'm not sure that's a real word. I think they might have made it up as a market employee so that they could say that they were the biggest one. Because uh, you know, if you're the only one, you're the biggest one. But I might be wrong. I might just be being too cynical. Uh, basically, it's got a huge fish tank in with lots of fish. Recently, they've added penguins. I've not seen those yet, but... Um, I know they've been adding them. And uh, a few little tanks of jellyfish and things like that as well. Um, I've been round it once. Uh, I went round it because at the time Mrs. Calm worked at the deep. She worked there for a, a little while. And uh, we got free tickets, which was good. This bit in front of me, by the way, that's not the deep. That's the uh, tidal barrier. So when the River Humber is getting a bit excitable. That all uh, comes down to stop Hull being flooded. Doesn't always work because we get flooded with other things as well. Uh, this building on my right is the deep. And uh, you can't quite tell from this side, but it kind of looks a bit like a ship from the side, almost like a shipwreck. Which obviously was done on purpose. It's quite nice and there's a huge tank as I say in there with all the fish in. One big tank with loads and loads of things in. Real kind of two storey high thing. Quite impressive to see. And they've got sharks and turtles and fish and whatnot. And it's, uh, you know, if you're in the area, it's worth an hour of your time. I don't know if I can actually get around the other side to see it. This bridge is quite amusing. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. Um... So yeah, it's, it's, it's worth a look. They, um, the only problem I had with it was they're a bit too over the top on computer screens and not enough fish tanks. So there's a lot of it, because it's all aimed to be very educational, a lot of it is um, firing up a computer screen and poking, at, you know, touch sensitive screen, poking at fish and learning about them. Whereas I was more interesting actually seeing the fish swimming around and what have you. A bit of a shark monument there. But you know it attracts a few people. I say it's worth a worth a look if you're coming here. Probably not worth a day out just for it but other people will disagree. Certainly a good one for the school trips. Now I mentioned this bridge. This one here. Um, at least I think it's this one. This shows you the ability of councils to plan things properly. They decided the deep was too hard to get to because there's all sorts of little bits of river in the way. So what they thought they would do is build a uh, bridge. Of course boats and ships and things go up and down the river hole. I say ships. I think the definition of a ship is just a commercial boat isn't it? Not, not hugely big things but big enough that the bridge would get in the way. Big enough that this bridge here that we're about to go under, this is Mighton Bridge. This does lift to let ships through. So there's some reasonable sized things coming through. So they decided to do one of those bridges that lifts out the way or swings out the way. Unfortunately, somebody wasn't so good with a tape measure. <laughs> and they actually managed to make the bridge a couple of feet too short. So when they came to install it, it didn't actually reach across the river. <laughs> Uh, planners there. There's an example of a ship. Look, if you've never seen a ship before, <laughs> that's one. That's the kind of thing that goes up and down. So there's some reasonable sized stuff. You know, we're not talking the Titanic, but some reasonable sized ships. But yes, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's all right. So yeah, worth a look if you're uh, if you're over in East Yorkshire. Maybe if you've decided to head over to Holland or something smoking a pancake then uh, because this is on the same road as the docks where the ferries go from 
get here an hour early and go and have a look around the deep you might uh, you might find it entertaining what I'm going to do now is just whiz round to the right and I'm going to go past the deep so you can see the ship shape so this is the Mighton Bridge the one that I was just uh, underneath there does lift up there's the tidal barrier obviously in the upstate at the minute and there's the deep and if you were imagining the ship we're kind of at the back of it now looking along to the point at the top that point at the top where all the glass is would be the kind of front bit and the back would be buried under the ground I suppose I wonder if I go down here if I can see it any better give you a better view not really sure but we'll see There you go, hopefully you can see that. That'd be the front of the ship pointing out of the ground. And there's the uh, bridge that they couldn't get the length right. There you go, thank you for watching. Ride safe, enjoy your fish, and I'll talk to you all again soon.